Now that the tobacco is sweat in the fermenter for about 30 days, it's released most of its ammonia content and it's turned a nice shade of mahogany and dark brown. It's also developed a very pleasant tobacco aroma. Rolling a cigar the traditional way takes some tools I don't have and years of experience to perfect. So we're going to roll a small cigar the foolproof way using a cigarette hand roller. First begin by selecting a leaf that has a large enough area to use as the wrapper, making sure that it's free from small holes and doesn't have large hard veins running through the leaf. It's extremely important that the tobacco has been fully humidified and is very pliable to avoid damaging the leaves. Once you've found a good section of leaf that's free from holes and is supple and pliable, remove the center stem from the tobacco. I use a pair of scissors to cut the leaf into a square shape the width of my hand roller. Now I'll start making the filler for my cigar by removing the stems and hard veins from some of the leaves. I stack them all up together and once I have three or four pieces stacked up, I roll them up into a cigar shape. Then I take my scissors and cut thin sections off. If you're familiar with cooking techniques, this would be called a chiffonade. Just a little bit of trivia for you. Once I have my little pile of tobacco pinwheels, I unravel them into ribbons of tobacco. This is also a good technique for making pipe cut tobacco as well. This is the hand roller I'll be using. It's a 70 millimeter roller, but they come in larger sizes up to 127 millimeter or four and a half inches or even larger than that. I'll put links in the description as to where to get one and whatever size you prefer. Start by separating the two rollers and filling the inside with your filler tobacco. Pack it too full and you won't be able to draw through the cigar. Pack it too loose and the cigar will be really thin or not hold together very well. Close the rollers and roll them towards you a couple times to set the tobacco. Then feed your wrapper leaf in like you're loading an old school typewriter. This can be a pain, but be patient and avoid damaging the leaf. If you have a lot of trouble, you can open up the rollers slightly and place the bottom edge of the leaf inside and close the rollers back down onto it. Then just roll the rollers away from you until only a small portion of the leaf is sticking out. This one went in a little crooked, but it should be fine. I made some glue out of a teaspoon of water mixed with a little over half a teaspoon of flour. Use this to wet the edge of the leaf. Finish rolling the cigar by rolling the roller away from you several more times. Now just let the cigar sit for three or four hours for the glue to fully dry. Then open up the rollers to remove your cigar. And there you have it, your first homegrown, homemade little cigar. Since they take some time to dry, you can always buy multiple rollers so you can make several cigars at one time. So there you have it, we've gone from starting the seeds indoors to transplanting the plants into large pots outside, to harvesting and curing the tobacco, to a finished ready to smoke cigar. In future videos, I will be going over flavoring the tobacco, making cigarettes with your homegrown tobacco, and making aromatic pipe tobacco. If you enjoyed this video and this video series, consider supporting this channel through Patreon. For as little as $1, you can help keep this channel alive and thriving, and every little bit of help I can get for my channel really means a lot. Until next time, do it right, do it well, and do it yourself.